What is up guys? It's rained again. Still wet. Hopefully to get better in time. Spring's almost upon us. We got a couple more weeks. Check this out. We're gonna talk about what's coming up for the uh, the wood miser mill. We wanna maximize the uh, perf over there on these little logs. We got some Eastern Red Cedar. Custom order for a customer. This is just a custom saw job. He brought these in, wants them sawed up into one buys. Uh, probably gonna go with one by whatever the log makes, you know, like that log there, one by tens, this log here, maybe one by eights, one by sixes, whatever they square up to, that's what we're gonna go with. And we're gonna do one log in live edge siding. So, uh, maybe the bigger log, depending on how it saws. It's a little gnarly down there on the end. Let me show you guys. Got a lot going on down here. Probably look cool. Won't saw worth crap, but We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, a lot of these logs are 16 and 20 foot, and uh, we're gonna buck them down to half those lengths. Uh, maybe that 12 or 14 will keep it whole. But most of them will be uh, brought down like that. I'll get two 10s there, two eights there. Um, let's see, that's gonna be two, this guy here, if you follow my hand here, keeps going and going. And it's a 20 footer, so we get two tens there. So let's buck them up and let's get them started. All right, check it out, guys. Kilgore Saw Company sent me another box of blades because uh, seen a couple uh, posts on the uh, video we had talking about the speed and whatnot. So here's what I know in in band saws. In the past, I have always used 10 degree wood miser silver tip. You can see right here. I believe I can see it right there. I don't know if you can see it. In a, yeah, you can see it there. Wood miser silver tip. Carbon bandsaw blades. Not saying this is what you should, shouldn't, or whatever. I'm just saying this is what I've always used. So let's compare apples to apples. This is what I ran on the woodland mills. This is what I'm about to run on this saw mill. And I'll be able to compare a little more, again, apples to apples. Um, the blades that the mill came with, it came with nine degree, uh, whatever. It came with nine degree blades. And that's not the best blade for uh, sawing pine per se, at least in my experience. Uh, again, I leave that open to interpretation, but I'm gonna be putting this on there and uh, that'll give me a better uh, feel for what you know it's doing compared to my previous mills. Um, I even ran these on the AC36 that I had. If you look back in some of the older posts. So, anywho, let's get this put on and then we'll get started on this uh, cedar order.
Okay, I'm gonna interject right here. As I got it down to a six by six. Now, the guy wants one inch lumber. I'm sawing one inch lumber. But previously, two seconds ago, feels like, I'm gonna be telling you in this video about how I swapped to my normal 10 degree blades that I am used to running, okay? They sent me some nine degree blades with the mill, like I said. We're talking daylight and dark difference in the cut speed and how hard it is to push this mill. Not gonna lie, I was a little concerned for a minute. They had me in the front half because I was worried about the way that it was being so much resistance. There's zero resistance I'm talking about in the track. I mean, there's nothing, you know, the momentum of the head, you just leaning on it, she's gone. But I was having a lot of resistance in my cut. I swapped and I've made all those cuts you just seen. I'm sure from the video, you can tell from the previous two videos that cut speed has increased. Um, but uh, I, I mean, my wife runs this mill. Sometimes like I go, I'm doing things on the log yard back and forth and she takes over. And she was highly expressing her concern for, you know, how this thing was feeling. I gotta fix that piece of tin. So uh, now I'm gonna let her make a couple pushes just to feel the difference because she knows you know what she was complaining about was how hard it was to push let's let's see what we get a honest reaction out of her first push with this particular blade Go. Totally different. Way easier to push. So what was your complaint before? Because we had a talk at home about this and she was kind of thinking, Tyler, what have you My done? My arms were sore the next day from trying to push through that log. But yeah, was she was so like easy. trying to figure out what in the heck you are uh, doing here because that thing's, <laughs> you know, even, even the woodland at first there, she was thinking, man, that thing's pushing easier. But uh, I think the We've got down to the culprit, and uh, I would say our culprit was for the type of material we were sawing and the temperatures we were sawing and whatever else you guys could come up for the reasons why. But I am used to running 10 degree wood miser silver tips. And when I say I'm used to that, I've ran those same blades on an AC36 Cooks. I've ran them on a Woodland. I've ran them on a LT35 hydraulic uh, wood miser, and now I've run them on an LX. 55 wood miser those are my particular favorite blades to run for soft woods from anything soft you're sawing and, and occasionally i throw a hardwood across them i can't say this is the best blade for hardwood i can tell you what the best blade for hardwood is it's right over there in a corley 395 that's the best blade for hardwood because i can eat them up in three seconds of pass but the curve loss i get it it sucks but uh soft woods 10 degree wood miser silver tip i had great experience with them Let's continue on. Anywho, there'll be two part video. Uh, not sure which one's gonna come out first, but uh, one will be about this whole order I did for fairly large order of cedar. And one will be just the uh, video about that uh, 17 inch log there that's pretty nice. I may include some of those drops on that 20 inch, but they look they look like they are gonna have some rod in them. So anywho, if you like this com, uh, that, let me start over with that. If you like this content, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos. 
help us spread the channel we're growing and i appreciate everybody watching these videos any questions just hit me up in the comments i try to respond to as many as possible thank you guys